Hello and welcome to another one of Killer Ants book reviews. Today we're actually going to be reviewing the Mati in God's Eye or the Moti. I, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but it is uh, written by Larry Niven and Jerry Pornell. I'm I'm very terrible at names. Uh, basically, this is a book where a crew on a ship basically has a first contact with an alien species, and basically the alien species are look like they're very trusting, but they really aren't. It's kind of, it's uh, interesting of a first contact scenario where where neither side really trusts each other, but they act like oh yeah yeah we're all cool with each other, and a bunch of stuff does happen does happen, like in every book. Uh, it is a fairly long book, around well, over 500 pages, and uh, 50, 57, 58, 60 chapters. Oh, there was a lot of chapters. This one actually took me quite a while to get through. Uh, I did like the book. I, I Don't get me wrong, it was definitely a good book. Uh, the only problem I really did have with it is it did sometimes take a little too long. It feels like I just went th watched like a three and a half hour long movie, and they probably could have trimmed out a good like twenty or thirty minutes of it. Uh, overall, the characters they had a bunch of different characters, including even from the aliens' perspective, and it was kind of cool with that. The the characters were definitely fleshed out. Uh, what I'm very impressed with is the alien world and their whole entire class system and political spectrum. Uh, they they def the two authors definitely got into that, and I thought that was pretty much one of the coolest parts of it. Uh, there was a little bit of action, mostly was like a ship being taken taken over, and a few pe and a couple people trying to survive on a pl on a alien planet after they crash land on it. Um, it's it's been about six months since I read this, so I'm just do I'm trying to just go through memory. Uh, this thing took me about about two to three months to actually read through just because it it was long and I was also going through on one of the Game of Thrones books at the same time. I read multiple books at once, don't judge me. Yeah, so uh, the cover is a bit boring. Uh, all the, uh, the, I didn't really, wasn't a huge fan of the purple cover. Uh, the font's pretty cool for like the year. And the eye was just meh. Uh, back definitely shows it shows it a bit better. Um, overall, what would I give this book? I would definitely give it a solid seven point five. Definitely, like I said, I, it wasn't a book that I even that I hated. I actually ended up at the end I ended up enjoying it. It it definitely take it definitely I definitely had to think about it for a little bit. Like, did I really like this book? But then I look back at it, I really did. And that's why. And I know this is kind of a classic. I know. I know a couple of uh, people I know actually read this and had higher regards for this book. And there is a sequel, which uh, I'm hoping at some point to acquire. If I didn't already, I don't know what I have. I have, I have like 60, 70 books that I'm, I'm currently in rating. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, if you definitely, oh, definitely, I keep saying definitely. Um, if you love sci-fi, check this out great book may not be for everyone and this is the reason why I like vintage books just because I like seeing seeing what people thought of stuff back then and then this was basically made in 1974 or so so over 40 40 almost 50 years this book was made so I guess that's vintage that's older than me so um, if you definitely like this video, definitely leave a like or comment. I'm not going to really beg for it. I don't really care. Just do this for fun. But until next time, this is Killer Ant Reviews.